Aloha and welcome to Live Journaling and Dash for the 4th of August, the year's 2022. We're your host as we do daily devotions here on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. I'm David in purple, and that's you, Bill, in purple today, as we read 2 Kings chapter 22, 2 Chronicles chapter 34, and John chapter 6. I did this the Japanese way, right? where they put the hands here, so the six. And we are so glad to see you here doing the daily devotions. We make each other laugh. Today I'm calling it Be Proactive. And before I get into that, let's be proactive with asking you, Bella, for a prayer to start us off with our daily devotions. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for guiding us and directing us. Thank you for your word that teaches us how to live according to your uh, righteousness we ask lord that you take our words and let them encourage others in your name we pray amen so i'm calling this one be proactive and i'm pulling from john chapter 6 verse 29 where jesus answered the work of god is this to believe in the one he has sent and then also from john chapter 6 verses 38 39 and 40 where it reads, For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day what does this mean well my observation is our job on earth is to believe in god who sent jesus to us later we will be raised up after our death here on earth to have a life in heaven application how will i be made differently by what i've read today our job has been simplified we must believe in the one true god how can we do this? Well, to me, it means not allowing too much to the outside world into my life so that I'm not distracted. Now this week, I'm gonna talk about you. Uvella draped our new appliances that are still covered with plastic sitting in our unrenovated living room right behind the camera there. And on top of them, she placed some plaques with scripture, both English and Japanese, and one sign that reads beach rules, rest and relax. There's also a hard copy of a Bible. Yeah, we still have hard copies sitting on top of the covered up brand new stove, also wrapped in plastic. We could be focused on the unused new appliances and lack of progress with the renovations, going on two years. Instead, I am able to focus on Jesus and God who sent him as I read the scripture on the plaques. Again, I, I'm reading both, it's in English and Japanese. My vision and focus is directed at Jesus on purpose. My prayer, Lord, thank you for simple instructions. Help me to make good choices that are proactive and not reactive while I remain on earth. To be in the world, but not of the world. Amen. You had no idea that you were refocusing me. And it really, I woke up today and it was a difference. It's like okay embrace the next eight months that we could be here waiting on permits well i do want to correct you just it's been almost two years it's been well over two years two, two years. yeah we're on the other side of the two years where i say almost yeah um, <clears throat> two and a half yeah two and a half um one of the things, so what's eight more you know one of the things i learned from a friend kathy is to use what you have when it comes to decorating your home and we have all this Hawaii material and, so, and shells and shells. So whenever it was, all right, what can you do to make your stay look a little bit more like a home instead of looking at unused brand new appliances wrapped in plastic and some in boxes, what can you do? So use what you have, wrapped it in some of that material. It's interesting, the shells we have were not collected here in Hawaii. <laughs> We imported them from all over the world. We traveled pretty far. Did you put out more shells? No. Okay. No. 
Just the one from Okinawa. Well, there's those, and then we have the ones in the bathroom. But anyway, we digress for their daily devotions. But it is. It's um, the term is reframing. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, you look at what God has given you, not what God hasn't given you. In my eyes, that's what it means. All right. Speaking of looking at it through God's eyes, I will go ahead and share. In both 2 Kings 22, 1 and 2, and 2 Chronicles 34, 1 and 2, it says, Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and followed the ways of his father David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. My observation. Whenever the Bible talks about king, the kings of Judah and Israel, it says either, he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, or he did evil in the eyes of the Lord. My application, how will I be changed by what I said, by what I read today? Well, at my funeral, which I hope is a while from now, I would love for my friends to say, she did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and followed the ways of the Bible. In order for the, them to say this, I need to stay in the Word of God, pray, and seek guidance and forgiveness from God so my character becomes more Godlike. My prayer, thank you, Lord, for giving us your Word so I can learn how to live a godly life. Amen. Amen. How does that relate to this week? I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm asking you to focus my attention what I'm looking at oh when you, when you... let me give them a really good example okay whenever you say something yes and it upsets me which is rare okay Lord I repent of that so I then say Lord give me the grace to understand where he's coming from uh -huh. let me choose words that will be uplifting uh -huh. And not to tell you the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh huh. I think we're also very good at being proactive, actually, in that in that avenue. That um, if I have a bad night of sleep, I'll let you know that I didn't sleep so well last night, and I'm kind of cranky. Which you probably already understand when it's one of those nights. You see it, but. It's good to tell people that. It's um, not a warning, but it's to say that I'm off my game. It's not, not normal, you know? Or to share what is bothering you, uh, us, because sometimes we hold it in. And it's good to have uh, what, what the Bible says, community or connectivity, so that we can, even if we're not in the same long renovated condo, we can still reach out to people and ask for prayer as we're praying for people and we can share those hardships. We're supposed to share those hardships so that uh, we can lift each other up. So going back to what you had read, you talked to your title was being uh, proactive. Do you ha give us an example of you being proactive? I wanna, now that you decorated the, you know, the unfinished appliances and I know that that wallpaper's coming down, I want to stretch my artistic ability, what's the face, and do a mural. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, that will be interesting. That's I, not what you meant by proactive. Um, I thought maybe you'd be writing scripture all over it. We could do the scripture and then we could do the mural. No, I'm proactive in that. I don't put scary things in my head. I don't... Uh, watch movies or shows that are going to be scary because I know my limitations and I just will not sleep well. Uh, I know this about me and if you know something about you, then don't do it. If, you know, alcohol is a problem, then don't do it. If gambling is a problem, don't do it. We used to avoid wearing dark clothing because we had golden retrievers with us. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that because now I'm sad. But it's true. We, we, for the first time, looked at clothing and furniture here in Hawaii that was not blonde. Our Goldens are with our granddaughter, who's almost two, 
and she, loves, she them. loves them very much. And we get to see them on the camera, on the phones and stuff like that. Yes. And they're not suffering, swimming in the, the ocean there. Yes. But as yeah, being proactive, thinking ahead, how can I do this? Because you did really well by placing things in front of us that we should be looking at, scripture and the Hawaiian material that will lift our spirits versus us looking at cardboard boxes that just, you know, reminded me the warranty was running out on these things that we're not using. And speaking of proactive, and, tomorrow... And worrying about days. We don't worry. But tomorrow we'll be looking at 2 Kings chapter 23, 2 Chronicles chapter 35, and John chapter 2. 7. Yeah, I was focused on the two fingers in front of the five. <laughs> not what I do, what I say. What, not what I, anyway. Aren't you glad you tuned in for this fun time? Why don't you pray? Why don't you pray for us today? Okay. Lord, thank you so much for the opportunity to share with others. <clears throat> thank you for giving us your word. I say that, but I mean it so much, Lord. Thank you for teaching us about reframing our mind and focus on what you have done for us and the gifts that you've given us, Lord, and not on the negative, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for being with us and being with our friends, Lord. We ask that you continue to guide us and lead us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.